Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And since the last time you've seen me, I've grown a wicked ponytail. Oh, is that why you switched to Goombella? <laughs> yeah, that one <laughs> joke? Yep. Go get Koops back out. <laughs> That's the thing you want to do when you have a new partner is keep them out because they're more leveled with your stats as of now. And yeah. They, and they're stronger than your last partner. And, and they, they were given to us for a reason. Alright, so go talk to that red bones because I've got to tell you something. What? What the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? Don't breathe into voice. The... That's his voice? <laughs> You're just giving up? <laughs> ah, this is the part this I was, happening? This is the part I was thinking of when all those x knots fell on you. I was like, use your hammer to get out of there. Uh, this is what I was thinking of. So yeah, you can use your hammer to get out of all these guys. They're gonna push you out if you don't! <laughs> oh, I thought that was supposed to go out. <laughs> no! Jake! Oh my god, that's why I told you that beforehand. Alright, we're gonna try this again! I, I thought that was going the right way, and I was like, oh, oh I can just shit. shove shit, now you're all the way back. Now you're gonna have to fight all these fuckers. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I hit the one enemy we tried to avoid. Yeah, let's see how this goes. I think you can do it, just attack them wisely. Use action commands, or items, whatever you need to do. These Koopas don't fuck around. There you go, now they're all upside down. Now one power slide should do it. Take them all three out at the same time. Yeah. Or power shell. Alright, ready? And... Ooh! Yeah! Alright. Nice, that went way better than the last uh, para para Koopa fight. Why do I keep getting their names wrong? I don't know, I, I always just call them like Koopas with wings. Or just call them Red Koopas. Koopa will give you wings. Oh shit, that one almost hit you. Oh shit, that one almost hit you again. Alright. Now we're gonna try this room again. And don't just like leave the. What do you? I, I thought. Uh, sorry, I thought they were in here already. Okay. Yeah. Then you can move the op. You can move too, because you weren't moving your analog stick at all. You I, just left I was it. moving it that way. I've never seen them push you out so fast. That's why <laughs> I, you were moving the wrong direction. I thought I was going the right no. way. Oh my god, that's where you want to go. Like, is that not obvious? He's guarding that door, so go to that door. You gotta fight the red dry bones. It's a mini boss. There you go. Jeez. I don't think I didn't think I would have to explain that. Like I only explained you have to use your hammer to get out of that crowd, and then you just go out instantly. <laughs> I've never seen that happen. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be very time consuming. Um, maybe would maybe it was kind of a bad idea to use the power block on the last battle, but it's fine. I think we can get through this. Maybe use Goombella to tattle. Just to tattle both variants actually, because you'll be coming across dry bones a lot. Right. So get Goombella. Uh, what do you want to tattle first, the red one? Probably him, yeah, because he's obviously going to be the one we need to do. Alright, let's see All what right. he can do. Okay. That's a red bone. It's a little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know? Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 1. Unlike your average dull bones, even, though, even if you pound it to 0 HP and, and it crumbles, it totally might revive, like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all the dull bones, then attack the red bone. Oh, and one more thing. Once its friends start to fall, it may create some more. So that's the gimmick for this battle. <laughs> and they do a lot of damage. There you go. Alright, good. You're getting the action. You're getting the action commands down pretty well, though. Okay. That did a lot of damage, though. Let's see what attacks actually work on these guys, though. Maybe use Gumbella on the dull bones or not. Maybe you want to use Koops to attack with the power shell. I might use Koops. I think the power shell does work on them. Let's find out. Right. You have enough FP to try. All right, successful! Woo! There you go. Oh, they all take one hit. Whoa, that's that's a good way to farm. Okay. There you go. Mario can only take so much more. You think you can take him out? Maybe. All right, let's find out. Nice. Ooh. Now one. Oh wait, that actually. Oh, I thought that was gonna hurt him. Okay. Now just do shell toss, and I think that'll work. Ah, oh, damn. It's all right. I think he's going to use his turn to... Nope, he didn't. Ooh, you're in peril. That is not good. Do we have healing items? I have a muscle. We do? Okay. Oh, wow. Good job. Yay. We're about to level up, too. Maybe that should be your goal in the next fight. Get into a fight, don't get hit, and then you'd win. I think you can get into that key in the next room. Okay. There's probably something that'll link these two rooms together. So let's go to the next one. 
Now we're finding out the I mystery. I feel like if I don't heal myself, okay, I feel like if I don't heal myself, I am going to, I am going to lose. What is that? That's a shine block. You got a shine sprite. Remember, those work for the um, wizard Merlon in uh, Rogueport. You can use that to level up your partners, give them new moves and stuff. Okay, the problem is, I like, I want to wait because I'm so close, but I feel like if I wait, I'm going to die. Okay, so I don't think avoiding them would be your best option, though. No, but I, I think I might... Use the mushroom. Yeah, use the use mushroom. Use the mushroom, get into a fight, level up, and uh, level up wisely. Because when you level up, I think your characters get stronger in general. I think that does automatic stat boost for those, but the things you upgrade manually, you have to do when you level up. Just one of those. Okay. You should level up. Just get, get one of the dull bones. Nice! You knew which one was awake. Or right. which one was alive. There you go. Oh, there's three of them. And that one has a mushroom. These things have very little HP. I don't think you could jump on them, so I think hammer and shell toss are your best bet. Yeah. Yeah, these dull bones aren't that scary, and they give you a decent amount of star points. Maybe you yeah, should... Yeah, I, I didn't realize how weak they were. Yeah, me too. How much HP do they have? I don't, I don't think we need to tattle them, then. It's really up to you if you want to tattle them. Yeah, as long as they stay at one. As long as they stay at one, it should be good. All right. Okay, I still don't think I have enough badges for me to feel it's worth to do BP. And since I'm getting wrecked, I think it'd be wise to do health. All right, go for health. It is never a bad choice to go for HP, because that always matters. If you don't have a lot of flower point consuming moves, FP is not that important, because FP is really easy to get back up. But yeah, I'd say HP and BP, pretty safe bet. And these dull bones are really not putting up that good of a fight. Nope! Got anything to say? <laughs> Delayed that on purpose. Of course. You really want to piss me off today, don't you? Uh, no, but if it happens, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't act blissfully unaware. You know what you're doing to me. There you go. Alright, cool. Cool. Oh, they give a lot of XP, too. Yeah, maybe. Okay, avoid the Paracoopas, but get the Dull Bones. Yeah. There you go. That's a way you want to get a lot of stuff. Do you think they refresh if you leave the room? Um, no, that wasn't the case for the other rooms. Remember when we killed that Paragoomba, it didn't come back when we left? Oh, uh, yeah. So, I don't think they'd respawn, but Hooktail Castle's very big. You'll find a lot of these things. So, okay, that purple block you saw move down when you hit it before, so maybe you can use Coops to, like, get ready the shell from down there on the purple switch. And, yeah, wouldn't that make sense? You yeah. could try that. Would, would that hit? I don't think that's... Maybe that'll hit. Let's find out. So, so you hop on top of the block, and let's see if it rises. Nice! And now you're on the top floor. That's... Yeah, Koops is very helpful in Hooktail Castle, which makes sense. You just got the partner. They really want you to use yeah. him to figure out how he works. Too bad that that wasn't a necessary thing. It's funny, because he's so timid, but he's actually a better fighter than Goombella. All right, so oh, yeah. I can use that. But anyway, he's better than a, Ko with a Koopa Goomba. I mean, that's one way to explain it. Anyone's better than a Koopa Goomba. Anybody's better than a Koopa Goomba. Jake, 2015. <laughs> Ow, my back! <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> I'm taking up my rage on something else. There you go. My back does hurt, though. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I feel like you're doing it on purpose now. Actually, uh, no. Yeah, I feel like you are. I'm, I'm not. I'm trying to... I'm just... Mm. <laughs> Oh my god, seriously. <laughs> but yeah, I like the design of Hooktail Castle. It's very, like, it does look like a generic castle, but once you get more in into it, it's pretty pretty cool looking. I like it. Yeah, it looks fairly interesting, you know. Well, I mean, I think it looks Sorry. straight up like a Bowser castle at this point in the, the castle, but it gets a lot more interesting later on. Mm. Oh, I could have rode the stairs. No, I, you, I want to see what that looks like. No, I don't think you can. You can't? No. Because no. it does a paper transition. Like, that wouldn't make sense. I haven't tried it. I mean, you could try if you want. I don't think it'll work. Yeah. Oh, damn it. It doesn't work. That makes me really sad. Okay. Although that is a good insight. I would have never thought of that, but <laughs> I don't think that'll ever work. <laughs> I would have thought of that, but nobody would have thought of that because I was stupid. Yeah. No, one... <laughs> no one's as stupid as Jake. Here we go. Castle nope. <laughs> I'm kidding, Jake. Ah! <laughs> oh, look. Oh, there's a block. block. Jinx. 
No, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx, no. Okay. Well, there that goes. Well, there's another door. Yeah, I don't think any of those dull bones are gonna wake up. Not all of them do for some reason. Try going to the uh, next room before you get that green block to fall back down. Yeah, you don't want to hit the blocks mindlessly. Like, figure out the room first and see what you can do with them. Oh, look! That's important. Sound there you go. Oh, yeah. that must be the cricket noise. Yeah, the, the, um, the ah. bones in the last episode... The bones in the last episode mentioned how Hooktail's weakness was things that begin with cur and end with icket. In short, cricket noises. So, um... I don't you know said why you need to be so cryptic about it. If he wants us to defeat Hooktail, why doesn't he just straight up say, Get the cricket badge behind the cage, do this. That's more of the game's writing's doing, not like the character. I think they just did it for the game's writing's sake. Yeah, you know? I know. It would make it a less interesting game, but you know. Like, if I was about to die and I was trying to vanquish like this massive monster and I knew his weakness, I wouldn't put a riddle like, Go down to the crypt and search in the bones! No, it's like, go down to the tomb... Get the king's bones and take that freaking thing out of his hand and then stab it in his fucking kidney. But stab it! <laughs> Jake, the thing is, it wasn't a riddle. It's like, begins with cur and ends with ikit. It's just a joke. You don't know. We do know. That's the joke. It's supposed to be humorous writing. Okay. So you can't get in there right now. And. Okay. No, that you did it the other way around. Yeah. So. No, get closer to it. Like. The best way to do these switches, let me give you advice, like, face your back, like, get really close, and then turn around, and then do that. There you go, now that opens up, now you can get that. Well, now you can go in there, you can't get that yet. I think there's an, oh, okay, now it all makes sense, okay. You gotta find the black key. Oh, yeah. Hey, guess, it's been a long time since anyone came here, a real long time. Damn. Huh? You heard me? Wow. Wait a sec. If you can hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. Hey, but... Or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. But it sure is fun zinging people with that whole legendary hero bit. Oh. Hey, but seriously, folks, I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here so long, I'm starting to cramp like you wouldn't believe. Okay, you can skip all this. We already know we gotta get the black key. Let's there you go. Get that. Yeah, let's get that over with. Yep, 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 yep. He's like, okay, he's trying to trick you. Mm. This is the first time we've skipped in a long time, but we're, we got about like three minutes left. I want to get the okay. ability first, so go to the right. There's the door. Oh, I thought it was locks. I thought those were bars over it. No, the locks are pretty big in this game. Okay, here's a, a first spike puzzle. Just follow the path. If you land on the spikes, they'll come out instantly and you'll go back to the beginning. Yeah, I figured. So watch out. All right, you're doing well. You don't have to go this place looks pretty brutal like those things are like shackles that they use to like hang people okay, by their I'm arms I'm guessing we're getting a bomb later on a bomb? well in the last game you can get a partner called Bombette and her main thing is whenever there's an obvious crack in the wall you can blow it open well I'm not going to say anything I know you're not but I'm speculating alright well keep speculating you're almost to the chest <laughs> I like the stutter movements that you're doing <laughs> and there you go you got the black key Oh shit, now it's pulling some Star Wars shit. Alright, now you gotta go all the way back, but you gotta run. Oh, take the same path, don't hit the spikes, otherwise you'll go back to the chest. Oh, they gave you plenty of time, wow. I thought it was shorter than that. Maybe because to compensate for someone messing up or something. But you got this. There you go. Oh, wrong way. There you go, sorry, just go down. And there you go. Almost to the door. Almost to the door. Nice. Yeah. And uh, now we get the new paper ability. Man, that was close. You gotta shake it off. <laughs> okay, we got the key, so let's open the spooky chest. Spooky. Hey there. Wee hee hee hee. Fools. <laughs> no. Why, only the most idiotic pudding brain dolt would fall for a scheme like that. Scheme like that. The castle's traps prevent anyone who's entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great detail. Deal. I'll throw in a free curse, no charge. Oogly googly boo! Wee hee hee hee! Now you're cursed, too fierce, and it serves you right! This curse is more than cursed, and be cursed worthy than any curse that's ever been cursed on you! 
Oh, this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold on. Wee! What a curse! Who curse? What? <laughs> now I should just show you how frightful this curse is. Go on, press and hold R. Press and hold R now! Hey, I can slip through bars now. There you go, you figured that out. <laughs> Wee hee hee! And you could actually get through a lot of places with that if you were observant on the environment in the last few episodes. Then farewell, you dumbbells! Wee hee 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 hee! And that's our second paper ability. Alright, awesome. I don't know if I'd be wasting time, but I want I kinda wanna see if I can slip through that crack. What crack? The crack that was in the wall. You can't. Okay. All right, so in the next we episode, we're going to test out this paper ability and see what are the new things we can get. Uh, before we leave, there's anything you want to add, Jake? <laughs> I feel like this says it all. <laughs> I don't know what it says. Good.